my oh my have times changed when was the last time the top three rated players for the miami hurricanes was equal to the top three highest rated players for florida atlantic it's gonna be a hell of a season what's going on folks i'm k spade the prospect you guys are watching a NCAA 14 with NCAA 16 updated rosters video. Of course, I told you guys I was starting a dynasty. I want to attempt to rebuild my Miami Hurricanes back to the level they was at when I was a kid and fell in love with this team where they was kicking ass and taking names. We got some pieces, y'all. We got some pieces. I like the young quarterback, Brad Kaya. We got some pieces. I'm not going to go through a name, folks, because... I'm a fan. I'll be naming folks all day long, but the first play of the game, Brad Kaya with the keeper. We pick up 11 yards there. Later on in that drive, we are faced with a third and 10. Brad hits a drag across the center of the field. That's not going to get him the first. Florida Atlantic is too hype. The Kings punt it off early. Let's get a look at this defense, folks. I'm going to let you guys know this is going to be my biggest area for concern. I did not realize just how much the current Madden game is holding my hand and helping me be a trash player. I kept trying to A-tackle these dudes. I couldn't A-tackle nobody. I kept trying to do my pre-snap reads, but it looks different here. I just was all messed up, okay? And I like that. I like that I'm rusty at the game. I like that I'm kind of trash at the game. Let me go ahead and be honest. Because it fits in the story. Like, the Canes kind of ain't it right now, y'all. So, I'm thinking by the time I start to get used to the controls, by the time I get some of this stank off of me, it'll throw. fit for the... Look how I missed that tackle. It'll fit for the story of the Canes rebuilding and getting back to greatness. It wouldn't look right if I just took the controller and just came out here and beat everybody. It wouldn't look right, all right? However, the Canes come out here. Luckily, in their schedule, most teams schedule like a cakewalk game in week one. And thank goodness, because I need this cakewalk game to get right. Brad Kaya with a beautiful pass to Rashawn Scott on the sideline. This is college football. You only need one foot in bounds. He gets that one foot in bounds, and Gus Edwards comes out here and runs the guy over. Somebody check on that young fella. Make sure he all right. He got a pulse. He breathing. Make sure. Pancakes in the middle of the field, but it's a fake to the field goal. Flip outside to Joseph Yearby. He picks up the first down. Let's go. I'm liking what we got going right here. Man in motion. The play action from Kaya. He's going to check it down to the tight end who fights forward. Gets the first down. The Canes are on a drive, folks. I don't think they're going to stop on this drive until they standing in that area where it say Miami with the big letters and stuff. That's where we headed, right there. Second and long for Kaya. Little bit of time in the pocket, and I'm not sure how that was a catch. Brad, don't throw right at the DBs, bro. You got lucky then. That ain't going to keep working. On third down, they go screen to Gus. Gus Edwards barely gets the first down. That's all we need. Keep the drive alive. And on first and goal, look at Gus. Straight up the gut. Gut up the Gus. Let's go. Kane's answer back. Now, we got to see. If we Oh, Gus said he eating. He said he eating today. I see you, Gus. I see you. We got to see if we can get this defense right. This is where I'm concerned. This play right here ain't it, though. I don't know if that's a fullback or a tight end, but he too damn slow against this Miami speed. I'm so glad I made the tackle. Trust me, y'all. I've been running right by fools. Like, I mean, right by there. I'll be there, and I just came to act Third down, man. Our pressure gets to Johnson. He is sacked. They're going to have to punt the ball, the ball off to Miami, and this is how it's going to start. When we start getting some defensive plays, I feel like we're going to take off. Strong running by Gus Edwards. He's averaging six a carry. If he keeps that up, we're going to be all right. Stacy Coley right there coming through in the clutch. This guy's a great receiver. You saw before the game, he was one of the key players. And I just like him because of his speed. He's super fast. But right here, Waters gets behind the zone. He was just chilling down south. And finally, Brad Kaya sees him. Hits him with the pass. Early on, Brad Kaya super efficient, right? 13 or 15, over 100 yards passing, one touchdown. Brad, you keep this up, bro. They're going to be talking about you on ESPN. PM, my dude. You keep that up. 14-7. Miami responds from the early eh, gameplay and gets back in the lead, goes into the half with a 14-7 lead. That's the good news. Bad news is Florida Atlantic gets the ball back to start the second half, and I don't know if this defense can keep this up. So far, so good. 59 yards allowed. They're averaging four yards to play, one sack. I like what I see. 
Nice passing right here, though, by Florida Atlantic. Two guys in the zone. You can see I really didn't know who to pick up with Bush, and they just picked up whoever I wasn't going to pick up. They threw it to. Beautiful tackle right here. Chopping the legs off of the running back. That's how you stop a running back. And on second and five, they put it on the ground. The pill is on the ground. The Canes recover. Kind of lost yards on the return. But hold up. Hold up. The play is being challenged. And I, man, I got to get used to this game speed. He actually caught it and was taken all the way to the ground before he fumbled. Could have shocked the mess out of me. So Florida Atlantic keeps possession. And on third down, look at Johnson. Look at that move. Look at that move. Now, he did get cracked at the end of the play, but he held on to it. Beautiful scramble. Nice move he had, and we bringing the, we bringing the heat. I don't know if you saw it at the end of that play, but he got cracked. Delivered the pass, though. Picked up the first down, and look at Big Moise. This big fella right here was rumbling, bumbling. He picks up 10. Florida Atlantic from like the five. We can't get pressure on the quarterback. Guys, who's zone? Come on, man. That's somebody's zone. Khalil Williams, the fullback from Florida Atlantic, gets into the end zone. The game is tied up. Kane's offense back on the field. Uh, this makes me feel real icky inside, y'all. We supposed to destroy this team. I'm supposed to kick their ass, but I can't. I'm bad, and that's scarce. Gus, however, doing his job. Seven yards to carry right now. Picking up the pass rush, tie your hat time. I guess you call that a coverage sack, man. Gus did a great job of picking up the blitz, but Kaya still didn't see anything downfield. He wanted, and even though that's an amazing catch and a great reception, it's going to be short of the first. Of course, Coach Spade says go for it. They drop out here. I like the play call. Florida Atlantic was waiting on it, though. They was ready. They shut it down. The Kings turn it over, and they give Florida Atlantic the ball at midfield. Come on, Kings. Defense, I need one play from you. Just one. Second is short. That's a pitch play. Is it OP like it is? In, oh, my God. Yes, it is. You see that juke, though? I need a tackle, y'all. I'm so weak without a tackle. I need it. I need it. Third and eight right here. Johnson dropping back the pass. And did you see the block? The fullback came out of nowhere, threw the block to spring the, his teammate for the first. I mean, I can't even draw up a play that works that well. That was beautiful. Beautiful. They're going no huddle monster. I want to get some pressure on Johnson right here. Here's the play action. We can't get out there. He throws a strike into the back of the end zone. Just floated a beautiful pass into the back of the end zone. And I don't think this guy was able to get a foot in. I'm watching the replay because I don't want to challenge. And that's really a bad angle. So I throw the challenge flag. We're going to get another look at it. This is a horrible angle, too. We can't see his feet, guys. Come on. He just disappeared and came back. But on another look, wow, he actually got that foot in the back of the end zone. I don't know what I'm more impressed with, the pass or the catch, but we are in trouble. We trail Florida Atlantic 21-14 to start the fourth quarter. The good news is we got the ball, and Gus can't really be stopped. Gus is gashing these guys straight up. Brad Kaya. Hit Stacy Coley on the drag right there. Stacy has the speed that you can spring him with wide receiver screens and drags and quick slants and quick hitches because he's got the speed to turn around and get it north and south and make something happen after the catch. I like those types of players. Third and short, Yearby in the game, bouncing outside. Nice pickup. Gonna get the Canes into favorable field position. Some people call this the green area inside the 30. Not quite the 20. Beautiful pass to Waters. Nice spin. Now we inside the red zone. Still gotta tie it up. Gotta try to make a stop and get it back. So it's a lot going on here. Brad Kaya in the pocket. Hit Stacy Coley. Stacy gets into the end zone. Beautiful play. Canes defense. I need y'all. I need y'all. I need you. 21 up with two minutes and some change remaining. Johnson throwing a strike to the sideline. I don't know. Oh, my God. He got that in, too. Jeez. This quarterback is low-key trying to gash us. He goes read option right here. Keeps it. Breaks some tackles. I know this kid is number 32 for a reason. That's a damn running back. He's taking a strike down the field, but a huge play. Huge play by Corn Elder out there. Beautiful, Corn. Beautiful. Miami offense takes over with a minute remaining. Let's see what we can do. They go screen to Gus Edwards. Gus is chugging, trying his best to get up the field and get out of bounds to stop the clock. He does. It's about a minute remaining. We jump ahead to 30 seconds remaining. 
Brad Kaya hooks up with Rashawn Scott. Scott with a nice reception, gets close to the center of the field. We trying to line that field goal kicker up to be great. He comes on, boots one through the uprights. 24-21 is your final score out here in Miami, folks. I am afraid if Florida Atlantic could hang 21 on me, what am I going to do when some ACC opponents roll up in here? I don't know. We'll worry about that when that day comes. Today, we just happy to get the win. So that's all I got for today's video, man. I'll see you, Brad Kaya. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me get a thumbs up. If you new here, subscribe to the Wolfpack, man. That's what I call my supporters. They the best group in the world. And I have to let you guys know, we did decide to do this series on Thursdays and Saturdays, but I am away on business. So you guys won't get a Saturday episode this week. I make up for it though, folks. I'm out the next time. Peace.